After every gathering that we've had, a number of people who are kind enough to voice how, Michael, this doesn't make any sense. Rationally, this is out to lunch. This does not make sense to my mind. And it doesn't. Anytime you get warm and get a little bit close to some truth, you're going to be getting close to some paradox. No paradox, no truth. And you may remember the bumper sticker. Uh, uh, no paradox, no truth. N-O, uh, yeah, N-O uh, paradox, uh, no paradox, no truth. And then, and then the next line is no paradox, no truth. And it's K-N-O-W. Uh, this paradox stuff is interesting, is, is interesting because here's, here's the big secret that we're letting out tonight. If you really want to get a hold of paradox, if you really want to get a hold of it, then you have to grasp the reality that there is no paradox. You got that? If, if we want to get a hold of the paradox, we have to grasp the, the, the reality that there is no paradox. And that is to say that it is all one reality. It is finally one reality. Let's talk about that. Eckhart Tolle has this great, this great quote. True love has no opposite. True love has no opposite. Sit with that for a moment. Let's take the ocean, for instance. You think about the ocean. We've got these waves. We've got this turbulence. We've got this surface stuff going on. And if not now, then later today or tomorrow, there's going to be a storm. And if you wait, there's going to be a hurricane, and there's going to be some turbulence up here on the surface of the ocean, and that's just the way it is. Uh, but as a scuba diver, I can tell you something really special happens, and that is when you get in the water and you go down 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 feet, there's nothing going on. It, it is quiet. It is calm. It is peaceful. If you go out a little deeper, if you go out over the, over the ledge, over the wall, over the, um, into the great chasm, in, into one of these trenches, um, you look out and you see this, this deep blue. And this deep blue goes on into a pitch black at some point. And and it, you, it just looks down into this abyss. It is nothingness, this emptiness. And everything's very calm and very peaceful, very still and very silent. Jacques Cousteau, his first book, he, he called The Silent World. Well, now to most of us, at first look, we look up here at this hurricane going on, and we look down here and we say, oh, there's two things going on. Well, they're both going on. But what you and I know is that they're all part of one reality. It's one sea. It's one ocean. That's the reality. That's the truth. Now, these are both true, but that's the truth. Love, true love, has no opposite. When light is present, there is no darkness. And when presence is present, there is no absence. And when truth is present, error thinking and illusion is not. And when love is present, separateness is not. Dualism is not. 